And here we are, first real bolt action battle report for the year. Kind of uh, follow up to the firefight battle report I did a few weeks ago. Again, US Airborne versus Waffen SS. In the last uh, report, the Germans were able to succeed in holding that bunker way over there. Uh, the Airborne had a tough time, especially with this big open area, but this time they brought reinforcements. For this force, we have a veteran first lieutenant with bodyguard, two veteran squads of US Airborne, each with an NCO with SMG and BAR. We have a regular medium machine gun team and then an inexperienced, um, an inexperienced M18 Hellcat. For the Waffen SS, we have a veteran second lieutenant and bodyguard. We have a veteran squad of Waffen SS with STGs, a regular squad of Waffen SS with rifles and an LMG. We have a regular Kubel wagon uh, with transport. We have a veteran medium machine gun. And then we have a regular SDKFC 25110. So that's what we're going to be facing off with Airborne and Waffen SS. Again, this is the same board that we used last time, or at least an approximation of it. And uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and go on to turn one. All right, top of turn one, most of all the units are going to start off board, except for the medium machine gun team, which ended the last game at the bunker. So we're going to go ahead and pick out the order dice. And it is German. All right, so I took the rifle squad, rifle LMG squad, and ran them from the edge of the board there to the house. Now we're gonna go and pick the next order die. And it is German. All right, second action, I took the STG squad, ran them from the edge of the board to over the wall right there. Now we're gonna move on to the next order. And we have Airborne. All right, on that action, I moved the medium machine gun team. I actually ran them from the edge of the board to behind this house. I'm really gonna try to get them into this house so that they have a good um, view of the battlefield. So anyway, uh, on to the next order. And it is airborne. All right, on that action, I took the first airborne squad and ran them to behind the hedge and the building here. They've learned from the last game not to charge up the middle, obviously, with that uh, Waffen medium machine gun there. All right, next action. It is German. All right, on that action, I advanced the SDKFC 25110 to right there. We're going to go ahead and move on to the next order. And it is German. All right, I advanced the uh, Kubelwagen to right there. It is transporting the lieutenant and his bodyguard. Okay, on to the next order. And it is German. All right, with that action, I put the medium machine gun team in uh, ambush. Move on to the next order. It is airborne. All right, I ran that second airborne squad to right behind the trees and the house. Next order. Airborne. All right, I went ahead and just advanced the lieutenant and his bodyguard. We're going to go on to the next order. It is airborne. All right, so I advanced the Hellcat onto the board, and we are going to take a shot at the medium machine gun team there. I'm going to measure it out. I believe it is half distance, so there won't be a range penalty. Yeah, it's less than half. So what I'm going to need to do is we need normally a three up. We need three up, but because they are under uh, heavy cover, I think it'll be a five up and we do get one shot. So we're going to give that a try and uh, we get it. So um, because the Hellcat has an HE of two, it's going to hit all that uh, crew there. Yep, it's going to hit pretty much all the crew. It will get a pin. So we'll put that pin over there. In fact, while I have that pin there, I do get D3 pins because it is HE, so we'll see what we get. It is basically three pins. 
So I'm just gonna put a couple of these markers here since it's hard to see <laughs> the little markers there. Now I'm gonna roll for D6 hits. All right, so that was uh, two hits. Now I need to roll five ups to kill two, at least two of the crew members. And uh, one of them gets killed. So that crew is now down to two. And uh, yeah, that's it for the shooting for the Hellcat. We're gonna pick the order now. It's the last order and really it is the Germans. And that is the uh, command, the Lieutenant right here. Uh, I'm not going to dismount at this point, so we're just going to set this, I guess, in ambush. And that is it for turn one. We're going to go ahead and come back at the top of turn two. All right, top of turn two, there's the status of the board. The Hellcat killed one of the crew members on the medium machine gun, which was awesome. Airborne have moved up to this corner of the board. Whereas a lot of the Waffen SS are in this corner, we do have a squad of Waffen SS in that farmhouse. So we're going to go ahead and pick the first order of the turn. And that is going to be German. All right, so I advanced the 25110 to here, and it is going to take a shot over at the Hellcat, which is about 24 inches away. Um, it is an experienced the Hellcat, so we're going to need a three up on that. We do get one shot. And uh, we get it. All right, so the 25110 has a pen of four up and the Hellcat has a damage value of seven up. So we need at least a three up to hit. And uh, we get it. All right, now we're gonna roll on the damage table and it is a four, which means, wow. That means that the Hellcat has been knocked out very early in the game. That is devastating for the Airborne. That was their main uh, punchy unit for this game. So that's too bad. That was crazy. That is a very good 25110. But again, the Hellcat is not as armored as uh, some other tanks. So it was expected that this might actually uh, do something. I'm just surprised that it happened so early in the game. But in any case, we're gonna go ahead and go back to the order bag and pick our next order. And it's German. All right, and all I did was just advance this uh, assault squad into the farmhouse. We're gonna go back into the order bag. And it is German once All right, with that order, I ran the uh, Kubelwagen and its passengers to there. We're gonna go back into the order bag. And it is airborne. All right, with that order, I ran the medium machine gun team into the house. And we're gonna go back into the order bag and it is airborne. All right, with that order, I ran this airborne squad to behind the hedgerows, and the hedgerow is tall enough so that it can't be seen by anybody uh, on the German side of the board. So we're gonna go back to the order bag, and it is airborne. All right, so I advanced this squad of US airborne into the cups of trees so that they have light cover. They're actually going to shoot at the Kubelwagen. Uh, right over there, which is at about 24 inches, so a little bit over half. Um, so we're gonna actually have to hit on five ups because of that. Uh, the, these are regular, so that's four up, plus one for the long distance. And uh, the white will be the BAR. Let's get this here. The white will be the BAR. So we need five ups. And the BAR hit. All right, so that's a pin on there by the BAR. I mean, I'm gonna need a six up and, and I get it. So we're gonna roll to see what happens. And it is a two. And that was one hell of a shot by the BAR in this squad. It has immobilized the Kubelwagen. For the rest of the game, it's not gonna be able to move. All right, we're gonna move on to the next order. It is airborne. All right, with that action, I just ran the Lieutenant to behind the wreckage of the Hellcat. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the next order. These are probably all German at this point. Yep, so what we're gonna do is we're going to, we're going to rally the uh, medium machine gun to get those, uh, those pins off. So I'll need to roll 1d6. We'll see how many pins get removed. 
and we get all the pins removed. So, all right, next action will be German. All right, we're gonna have the uh, Waffen SS squad, the rifle squad here, uh, shoot at the uh, farmhouse. So we're gonna do a fire order. This to here. So we're gonna have the squad in this farmhouse fire into there. Uh, we have rifles, an SMG, and an LMG. So we uh, will be able to shoot with two rifles because the other guy's a loader, the other rifleman. And then we have the LMG, which will have uh, six shots because of Hitler's buzzsaw. Woo, that's a lot. So we have, um, let's say, 17, 17 inches. The rifles are over half. And then LMG is under half. So, okay, so here we go. We have, they're shooting at the medium machine gun. So we're gonna do the two rifles first. If I stop tipping everything over here. Two rifles first, so uh, set, So it's seven up. So I gotta roll sixes and then I gotta roll again. So uh, that those are two misses with the rifle. Um, the LMG, Again, it's going to be seven up, so I need sixes. So we get one six. And then we need to roll, I think, another six in order for that to penetrate through. And no, that's a miss. So it's a good try. Last order will be German. So we're just actually going to disembark the lieutenant here. Yeah, we're going to have the lieutenant move into cover. So we're just going to advance. We don't want him to die. And that is it for turn two. Pretty devastating for the airborne side losing the Hellcat. But we did disable the Kubelwagen. And we're going to move on to turn three. All right, top of turn three. We're going into the order bag. Let's see what happens. We have German. All right, with that action, I move the assault squad from the farmhouse to there. We're going to go back to the order bag. It is airborne. All right, so I advanced this squad, airborne squad, into the Cops of Trees here. Uh, we're gonna shoot at the uh, Waffen SS squad that's over there. So we're gonna do rifles first. We got four rifles, they are veteran. All right, so we got four rifles, we need three ups. And we get two hits in there. And then we're gonna roll the BARs, we need three ups. And we got one hit there. And then uh, we need Four up for the SMG and CO because uh, it is more than half distance, so it's long distance. We need four ups and we got one. So we have four hits in. We need to roll five ups. So actually, they get a pin. The Wampin SS squad gets a pin, and then we need to roll five ups to see if we kill anybody. Woo! We got three, three sixes. So that is more than half the squad killed. Yeah, that was a that was good. That was a good attack from the airborne into the squad. And uh, because Waffen SS has fanatic, they do not break. So uh, we're going to go ahead and pick another order. It is airborne. All right, so I advanced the airborne squad to there. They're within a uh, good range of the farmhouse. They're gonna shoot into the farmhouse, try to dislodge that Waffen SS squad in there. So um, they are behind soft cover, the Waffen SS. So we need five ups. Um, these are the rifles. We do get one hit with the rifle. And then this is the BAR. We need again, five ups. And we got one six. And then the NCO is actually at over uh, half range. So we need six ups for his SMG. And uh, no, we don't get it. So we got two hits in. Uh, the Waffen SS are veterans, so we need five ups. And uh, we kill one and miss the other one. So that's one Waffen SS taken out. And they're also pinned. So we'll put a pin marker on them. All right, so that rifle squad is actually regular, but I did miss anyway with the two on the other hit. So uh, we're gonna go to the order bag. 
And it is German. All right, so I'm giving that uh, rifle squad a fire order. Uh, they do have one pin. All right, with that action, I'm going to give the uh, Waffen SS rifle squad here uh, fire action against the uh, airborne squad there. So we will have one um, rifle, and then we're going to have two for the SMG, and then six for the LMG. We'll do the SMG first, it is over half, so because of the pin, we need five ups. We get one. And then for the rifle, uh, five up. And that's miss. And now the LMG. We need five ups. And we get one. So because they're veteran, again, that's five ups. And uh, we get one airborne killed. And they do get a pin. So we'll throw, we'll pull the guy in the back. So next order, German. All right, so I'm giving a fire order from the SDKFC into the Cops of Trees of the Airborne right there. Uh, that is soft cover. Uh, we are under half range, so really we need a four up. And we only get one shot. And that's a miss. It is airborne. Giving the medium machine gun team a fire order onto the farmhouse. Try to dislodge the Waffen SS in there. We got five shots. That's hardcover, less than half range. So we need five ups. And we get one. And because they are regular, I need four up. And that's a miss. It is German. All right, I'm giving a fire order to the Mita machine gun crew into the airborne team in the Cops of Trees. And then uh, because they are in cover, we need five ups. It's six shots, so we need five ups. And uh, none of them hit. And it's German. The Kubel wagon's just gonna rally. We'll see how many pin markers it removes. It's two, so that pin marker is gone. We're gonna go back to the order bag. And it is there. So I just advanced the lieutenant and his bodyguard up uh, too far away. Uh, we're gonna have them shoot at the Kubel wagon, but uh, the SMG is too far away. It's 12 inches, but we do have the rifle there. And uh, we are at long range. So with long distance, I just need a real roll of four up. We'll roll it right here. And uh, that's a miss. So last order of the turn. German, we're going to have this lieutenant over here advance and then shoot. And his bodyguard, his bodyguard will shoot at them. It is over half range with the rifle. Okay, so we need a four up. And that's a miss. And that's it for the turn. All right, top of turn four. That was an interesting turn. Uh, got a kill on that squad there. Wiped out over half of this squad here. Uh, none of the airborne, uh, well, we lost one airborne uh, member on that squad there. But the board seems to be pretty competitive still. We're gonna go ahead to the order bag. And it is German. All right, I'm giving a fire order to the medium machine gun team again. We're gonna need five ups. So that'll be six shots at five up. And we get one in. And then because they're veteran, we need five up. And that's a miss. It is German. So we're actually gonna have that um, SDKFZ-10 do another fire order into the Cops of Trees, trying to dislodge that airborne squad. Can we get one shot off cover? We need a five up. And that's a miss. It is German once again. So we're gonna have this squad here advance, advance to there. And they do have a pin. So they get four shots and they're gonna get them at four up. Ooh, got a cock die. So we got 
one hit in and they're veterans so we need a five up and uh they get it we're going to take a guy out at the back right there all right uh we're going to go on to the order bag let's leave the camera there it is airborne we're going to have the airborne squad here just do a fire trying to wipe out that uh waffen ss veteran squad there should get three rifles two smg and then two bar so we'll do the rifles first we need uh three up we get one hit okay so this is the smg still over half that's four ups and we get one hit there and then the BAR has three ups. We get both hits on there. So uh, again, veteran. So I need five ups and we get one. So we're going to kill one dude from that squad. They do get another pin. I was hoping to wipe them out. So we have just the NCO left on that squad. Airborne. No, you know what? We're going to run them to here. And then we'll take care of them next turn. So that's a run. That's German. See, the thing is, on my sheet here, the Kubelwagen doesn't have any, it doesn't have any weapons listed. So um, for those of you who are more experienced as the Kubelwagen, does the Kubelwagen have any weapons on them? Uh, again, the crew, I guess, has dismounted there, or the transport has dismounted. So I'm actually, I'm going to skip them for now. We're going to have the lieutenant here do an advance. Yeah, we'll do an advance to there. All right, so we got the rifle. They are probably at less than at least half distance. No, still further out, so it's still long, long range. You know, four up. And uh, we get it. And because they're vets, we need five up. And that's a miss. And it is airborne. So this is just gonna be a back and forth between the command. We're gonna advance. Actually, there should have been a five up on the rifle for the Waffen SS guy. Okay, so we're gonna advance. So it's there. Is the SMG in range now? Indeed it is. It's still long range. Okay. So SMG gets two shots. Rifle gets one. We'll do the rifle first. Uh, rifle's in short range, so it's just three up. And that's a hit. So we'll put a pin. And then... The SMG will be at a four up and those are misses. So uh, the Lieutenant, second Lieutenant Waffen SS is veteran. So five up and no, just a pin on that. Next order, we have German. We're gonna do a rally on this squad here. And 1D6, all right, those pins are gone. Let's see who's next. It is airborne. So we're going to have, again, the medium machine gun do a fire order into the squad in the farmhouse there. We get five shots, so we need five ups. And uh, we get one hit in. We need four ups because they're regular. And that's a miss. The Germans, right there. That's actually the Kubelwagen. So again, I need to get clarification, clarification for you guys whether or not the Kubelwagen has weapons. It doesn't list it on my sheet. I guess put them down or something like that. I can't, because he's immobilized, I can't really do anything. So anyway, that is the bottom of turn four. All right, top of turn five. Find out who goes first. That's airborne. 
All right, with that action, I move the airborne squad to behind the farmhouse. They're going to engage the rifle squad in there. They do have a pin marker, so that's minus one. Uh, the, everything's in short range, so we need four ups. And we'll just roll all that. And uh, wow, we got quite a few hits in. We got six hits in. And uh, because they're regular, we just need four ups. Wow, out of all that, we only got one hit. So they did get another pin, uh, and then another guy went down on that squad. Really, It is German. All right, so we've elected to do close combat. The first I've ever done on bolt action battle reports. Waffen SS has run into this squad here because we're just rolling for damage. They're gonna need five ups because the uh, airborne squad is um, veteran. So we do get one kill in. We'll just pull one guy from the back. And now the airborne squad are gonna fight back. And uh, again, they're attacking regular guys. So they need four ups. Okay, we got one kill in. So we'll remove one guy from there. That, um, I don't know, does that mean that the Waffen SS squad gets destroyed because they're less than the airborne squad? Or do we keep going? So I'm just gonna keep going. Waffen SS squad, you hit five ups, that's a miss, and then the airborne squad, we roll, and uh, yep, the Waffen SS squad has been wiped out, so it is German, now that the airborne squad is way wide out, wide open, we're going to have the MMG team here do a fire order. So MMG into the airborne squad, they get six shots at, I believe that would be three up. Ooh, okay. Two hits in. Put a pin right there. And then we need five ups. And uh, that's a miss. That's German. Waffen SS squad, <laughs> just the NCO right here is going to do a fire order. He's not even gonna bother. He's just gonna do his last stand. So we need five ups. Gets two shots, five up. He's got one. Okay. And then veteran, so five up. And that's a miss. That's airborne. Uh, this airborne squad right here is gonna try to finish off that uh, German. So um, here we go. We're gonna get two BIR shots, two SMG shots, and three rifle. So we're gonna roll them all together. We're gonna to need three ups. We get two. And we need five ups. And we get one. Yep. We have airborne. We're gonna get the lieutenant here. And there. And then they're gonna fire. So we're gonna need four up for the SMG. That's a miss, that's three. And then a five up, four up, three up for the rifle. And we get it. And because they're veteran, we need a five up. And that's a miss, but another pin. All right, next order, Germans. So these guys are gonna run in there. We need to hit five up. And we get one kill in, so we'll get rid of the bodyguard. Boom. And then the airborne gets to fight back. We need five up. And uh, we get that in there. So that's another bodyguard out. Do we keep fighting? Is that how it works? Because there's a loser, it's a tie. So maybe we just move on to the next turn, the next action. It is airborne. We have the medium machine gun team here. We're gonna give them a fire action at the, in fact, we're gonna have a fire action from the medium machine gun team into the 250 Get five shots. This is open topped. That's gonna be four ups. Okay, we got two sixes in there. Uh, also, yeah, we get a pin because it's open top. Yeah, there's no penetration with a medium machine gun. So the SDKFZ 10, 25110 is pinned. We're going to the order bag 
It is German. We're gonna have the 25110. We're yeah, we're gonna have them fire at the cops of trees. So we need four up. We get one shot. Uh, we do get it. And then uh, veteran, so five up. And again, that's a miss, but we do. We have one more order in the bag, I believe. Yep. That's German again. It's that Kubel wagon. I don't know what to do with it. So we're just gonna we're just gonna leave it alone. Okay. That's the All right, top of turn five. There's the board. Germans took heavy losses on the last turn, losing both the squads. First order, it is airborne. Over the turn, I'm gonna have my lieutenant, the airborne lieutenant, attack the second lieutenant of the Waffen SS squad platoon. Uh, we're gonna fire the two SMGs. Uh, again, we need um, we need three ups because he's short range. He got one in, and we need a five up, and that's a miss. But they do get another pin. It is Germans. <laughs> we're gonna try to finish this fight up here. Uh, we're gonna do close combat. Uh, we'll do fire. We'll do fire because they're shooting at each other. Uh, we need five ups. We got one, so that's a pin. Pin on that guy. And then we need five up to kill him. And uh, no, so that's pretty much a slap fight there. Next order. It is the airborne. We're gonna do a fire order. We're gonna attack the other machine gun team at the bunker. And it is over half. We need six ups. Ooh, we got it. We got one. And then that medium machine gun team, I believe, is a veteran. And we get it. So that's one more crew member uh, killed. That's German. Now we're going to do the medium machine gun team. They got to do something before they literally get knocked down. So we'll do a fire. There it is minus one now because uh, it's only one crew member left. Still six shots though at the airborne squad, which is less than half. So that's four ups. We got two hits in, and again, that's another pin, and then uh, five ups, and no, that's a miss. Airborne. So, yeah, we're just going to do a rally on this airborne squad here. Got too many pins for my liking. And yeah, all the pins are gone. And it is airborne. So uh, we'll also do a rally on this squad here. And uh, roll the five, so all the pins are gone. Got two more orders. Uh, German. SD KFC 25110 into the Cops of Trees right there. We're gonna do fire. One shot. Does have a pin marker, so that's minus one. Uh, less than half. So we need five ups because of the soft cover. I'll just roll out here. And we get it. So five up because of veteran. And that's a miss, but they do get a pin back on them. Okay, and then the last order is the Germans. Again, I don't know what to do with this Kubel wagon, uh, but we'll talk about that at the end of the game. So we're gonna go. First order, Germans. Medium machine gun team into the airborne squad there. We fire. Again, that's minus one. Only one crew member left. And then there's a pin, so that's gonna be a five up. We get six shots. So we need five up. And we get one. And then uh, that's a pin on the airborne squad. Then five up because they're vets. And that's another kill on that squad. Right there. All right. That's German. What are we going to do with these guys here? Um, we're just going to fight. Yeah, we'll just fight. So uh, we get one. We need five up. That's a miss. Airborne's gonna fight back. And that is a miss. So, uh, Airborne. 
we'll do the slap fight again. Um, so we'll just say run, five up, miss, German, five up, miss, it is a slap fight. Okay, next order, Germans, SDK of Z firing into the cops of trees. So we need five up, we got one shot, and it's a miss. Should be pretty much uh, airborne and one German. So we got the Kubel wagon again. I don't know what to do with it. We'll talk about that later. So I think the rest of the orders are airborne. We're gonna have this squad here fire at the um, mini machine gun team. So. We got two shots for the BAR, two shots, SMG, and then one for the rifle. Also, we'll roll the BAR and the uh, rifle together. So that is a pin marker and heavy cover, so we need six ups. That's miss. And then the SMG, is it even worth it? It'll be seven up. So we need six ups. Got them both. And then six ups again because of the heavy cover. And we got it. So I think that's the BD machine gun team out. That's done. So airborne, obviously. Yeah, we're gonna do an advance. So they're just gonna move up six right there. All right. They're gonna fire into the second lieutenant. Hopefully take these, this guy out. Got two BAR shots right there, and then three rifles, and then two SMGs. So we'll do the SMG first, that's at long range. Uh, we need four up, we got one. And then the rifles, we need three up, we got one, right there. And then the BAR, th three up, and we get one. So we got three shots, we need five ups. That guy's gone. Really, I can't do anything with a medium machine gun against the 25110. So we're gonna call the game here. Um, yeah, this time around the airborne got it. I thought, honestly, I thought with the Hellcat getting knocked out at the beginning of the game, that this would be a tough challenge, but uh, got some good rolls with the airborne this time. Waffen SS, not so much. Um, took out that stinking uh, medium machine gun team, which I couldn't take out the first time around. So that was a lot of fun. Uh, let's talk about the elephant in the room, the Kubelwagen. So when I printed out my sheets from Easy Army, the Kubelwagen doesn't actually have any weapons listed on it. So I'm assuming that whatever crew is on there, uh, it would use those weapons. But again, I'm not sure. If you guys are aware of that, please let me know in the comments below. Obviously, still made some mistakes here on the math on some of the rolls. So, you know, if you see something, call it out so that I can improve next time. And then um, let's talk about, let's, let's pay closer attention to the assaults or the close combat. Again, I may have messed up the combat with the squads over here, the Airborne and the Waffen SS and the Farmhouse. Um, I think, what did I do? I, I just kept going and I think maybe it just, ends at the combat phase for both of them. Um, and it was tied because nobody got killed and they saw the same number. But again, I messed up there and obviously the close combat between the two lieutenants. So in any case, still working my way through the rules, still having a lot of fun. It is getting easier as I play this more often. So I'm going to do another game probably in a month or so, but we're not gonna be in Normandy this time. We'll probably do Western Desert or something like that, North Africa. Uh, with some new armies that gives me an opportunity to do a paint challenge on um, Africa Corps and Commonwealth or 8th Army. So in any case, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I appreciate it. If you would, click the bell notification icon to get notified of all new Bolt Action Battle Reports coming out of the channel. And then click the link in the description below to join our Discord server. That is the best way I can personally interact with you and chit chat you about Bolt Action and any other game that we play on this channel. That's it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Bolt Action from Wargaming Noob Historical.